Welcome everybody, my name is Chris and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this shot. A couple of weeks ago, a client of mine contacted me for a job in Africa to shoot luxury safaris, wildlife, and just show off what you could see and experience when you go to these safaris. Basically a destination video specific to the lodge. And this was my unique opportunity to get a specific shot I saw on Netflix a couple of weeks ago with a cheetah running down the African landscape hunting buffalo. And it was, it was something unique about it. Basically the camera was moving flat out as the cheetah was moving. So they're moving in parallel. And what you got was the foreground was moving along and the background was moving, but the cheetah itself stayed in that frame. It stayed in the same spot in that frame. And the result was this incredible three-dimensional dynamic shot that just I had never seen before. Yeah, for me it was challenge accepted. Had the opportunity, go to Africa, shoot wildlife and have a new kind of shot that you want to achieve. To get this kind of shot, first of all, I wanted to use my Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K camera. What a mouthful, really. So I knew I was gonna get a beautiful image. Now, this camera is not stabilized whatsoever as most cinema cameras. I'm gonna to have to put this thing on some sort of stabilizer, and I know I'm going to be moving this stabilizer to achieve this parallel motion with the wildlife. To stabilize the Ursa, I picked up the Ronin from DJI. A lot of accessories get added to the Ronin to actually make the camera usable when you're trying to get a shot while it's mounted on the Ronin. I really noticed that the whole thing was just getting way too heavy to do anything. So the next step was to sort of get the weight off my shoulders, be able to hold the Ronin for longer than 20, 30 seconds before I started shaking and then basically ruining my footage. After long research, I came to the Ready Rig, a piece of equipment made in America, high quality stuff that um, is used in a whole bunch of Hollywood productions. It's really high end, expensive pieces of gear. What is a Ready Rig? Basically, it's a mechanical piece of equipment that transfers the weight that you're carrying to your hips and legs. So you're actually taking all the weight off your shoulders, your upper body, and it transfers it down to your lower body. In Africa, I basically had it on, on my shoulders for over five hours. And it allows me to extra add extra stabilization to the whole Ronin setup with the Ursa, and it was the perfect tool to get this kind of shot. Because, you know, muscles on your arms are not as strong as the ones in your legs, so transferring as much weight as possible into your legs is going to make the job a lot easier to carry this stuff. The Ready Rig is basically made out of four parts. You've got the hip belt, the back piece, the bungee cords, and two bars that go over your shoulder that hold up your Ronin or whatever you want to carry with it. You don't have any sort of batteries or complicated mechanisms in there that, that could break or things you have to charge. It's just mechanical and it just uses physics to take the weight off your shoulders. There's a really good reason this is used in Hollywood productions because one, it's super reliable. It works every time because of it just being mechanics. And three, it is built like a tank. It's just indestructible. You just feel this thing is made to last. It's high quality. Everything I take with me should have as much purpose and as many purposes as possible and not the single one. Well, the Ready Rig ultimately is only there to take weight off my shoulders. It is crucial to getting those shots, but it's a lot of weight for one single purpose. And obviously I can't ask for the Ready Rig to do anything else beyond what it does. It's just bulky and it's not exactly travel friendly. I guess that would be one of the downsides. I would, I would hope they could make it lighter. A cool feature on the Ready Rig is that it's fully adjustable. So you can adjust the amount of tension in your bungee cords, which allows you to transfer the amount of weight that is lifted by it. So you can make it loose so you're able to lift the Ronin or whatever you're carrying with it yourself, or you can make it super tight and the Ready Rig's basically lifting it up for you. I like to have it going down slightly so I can sort of hold up the Ronin but still have full control about the motion with it. And off you go. It's really as simple as that. It doesn't really require much training. You gotta learn that the shoulder weight is gone and that it's all on your hip, so you need to move a little differently, but that's how you go and get those shots. In Africa on this project where I was using the Ready Rig for the first time in combination with all this kit, I was wearing it for five and a half hours one morning and just took it off after that and I was fine. No pain, no complaints, nothing. It really, it's like a backpack and, and it's super comfortable to carry and um, it was the only way for me to be able to get that shot because you can't just say, Oh, hold it there, Lion. Let's uh, let's you know break here, take out the ready rig, start configuring your equipment, getting all ready, 
and then okay now you can run lion or cheetah or whatever it is you you got to be ready for wildlife it will never wait for you so you need something that can be ready at all time so to get this kind of shot i was equipped i had the ready rig i had the ronin i had the ursa the image quality and the smoothness was there now a shot like that isn't easy to get wildlife as i mentioned is completely unpredictable so we had to find the right situation and then we needed the right driver to be able to understand what kind of shot we were getting. It's, you know, it's unusual to ask your driver, hey, when we see the wildlife, can we keep moving? We need the vehicle to keep moving. So we're sort of doing a point of interest shot or we're going parallel to the lions or whatever's going on. You, you end up going slightly off road. You're getting a little bit into the bumpy area. It's not an easy shot to get at all. And maybe of, of, of the one or two shots that made it into the final cut there was maybe 10 shots that didn't work out where there's too much shake where we would end up going over a bump or something like that or obviously the wildlife wasn't coordinating well with the camera team and those things are unpredictable so what it's about is to maximize the amount of opportunities and lower the chances of failure and then hoping for the best so repeating that shot as much as possible and just hoping that you get that right moment and the right timing to achieve that parallel shot definitely wasn't easy to get. One of the worries I had was that the ready rig was going to make it impossible to sit in, a, in the 4x4 to shoot the wildlife just because of the size and bulk of it. But actually after testing it even here at home in Belgium, I realized the thing is a lot smaller than you think it is once you're wearing it. The long bars, everything is perfectly adjusted to, to the size of your gear and the weight of your gear and, and sort of the volume doesn't, doesn't really get in the way and it allowed me to just jump into a vehicle and film for hours straight without being uncomfortable in the car. Obviously we had the 4x4 to film so I wouldn't you know take this on a joint family safari but I had the whole front row of the vehicle so I could swap sides just be agile in the vehicle but the ready rig never really got in the way which was a real positive surprise as well. Additionally with the springs on the back I realized that there is an extra level of stabilization. The ready rig allows you to jump up and down. When you're standing still and you jump up and down you actually see that the stabilization of the ready rig helps to keep the camera level. It'll stay in one spot as you're bouncing up and down which helps when you're bouncing along on these African roads and chasing wildlife at, at quite a high speed sometimes where you know the vehicle won't be steady. So you'll be jumping around a lot. That extra stabilization helps you keep the camera smooth. And almost every single shot that we shot flat out on the roads going, you know, bumping around, everyone's just sliding around in the vehicle. It's just surprising how stable the footage is that comes out of it. Obviously the Ronin helps with that, but the Ready Rig adds that extra layer of stabilization that was unexpected and such a nice surprise really. One issue I came across was trying to get shots that would sort of make me go over the edge. So if I was trying to over pan so try and follow along too much with the ready rig with the gimbal basically the arms being solid and being a certain length there's a certain limitation in one axis and the pan axis is not as flexible as it might be with you know any other sort of stabilization or when you're just carrying the ronin but then the thing was i was sitting in a vehicle so we could sort of make up for that by making going around the animal instead of just staying parallel if we were doing a point of interest kind of shot. But on the other side, what it allowed me to do was go super low, almost on ground level while I was leaning out with 10, 12 kilos of equipment and being still fairly comfortable as we're driving along. So you get nice foreground grass in the foreground and it just gives you this almost impossible angle where you think, how is this done? And that's sort of the shot I was trying to get, you know, blow your mind thinking, how was this done? How is this shot achieved? On the Netflix show, they actually used a shot over, which is a multi thousand dollar piece of equipment that you attach to a vehicle and you need three or four people to control it. So definitely not achievable in my level for the budget that we were doing. But having a simple piece of equipment like the Ready Rig, which yes, it's expensive, but man, what we could achieve with it and how close we could get to the shots that I was inspired by, it really speaks for this amazing piece of equipment. I'm never gonna give away the Ready Rig and I know it's going to last the next 20 years. I know this was kind of a special video about a very specific piece of equipment, but I just was so fascinated about being able to achieve the shot that I was after using this kit and I couldn't have done it without. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about it and I've never seen the Ready Rig being used in this capacity. Anyway, 
thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified for next uploads. And hopefully see you next week for the next video. And uh, yeah, stay alive. <laughs> see you later. Max <laughs> attention, yeah. I mean, all the lions were looking at me. <sighs> Fly infestation, yeah.